Yankee circuit thing, you're top of the bill. But I'm talking about from the perspective of when, you know, prior to what is love breaking, how did you manage to get into all of the venues? How did you manage to get on the stages? Because that couldn't have been easy. Well, I have to tell you, it was a different time. Um, especially in this, this area, Germany, Austria, Belgium, Holland, there weren't too many, too many bands making really what we call house or pop music at that time. Yeah. And we, we, uh, we needed something fresh. We needed something different. And we wanted, I, at, at first people were basically laughing at us. They were like, well, that's not really music. And I thought, well, what is it then? <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and um, yeah, I was always, I was always the kind of person when you're going to deliver something, you, you, you've got to come with the visual effects. You've got to come with the beautiful young ladies. You've got to come with the well-built fellows for the stage. You, you've got to have the whole package. And then yourself, you know, I, I, okay, I've, I've, I've lost all the, the, the fashion glare. But, you know, I still can, can the voice carries it and the, the, the show delivers it. So you had to, to deliver. And if you're looking at the old people of show business, you couldn't fool. There was, yeah. there was, no, there was no lip sync moment. There was no uh, download whatever. You had to deliver. Yeah. And that was it. You had one chance to deliver. Oh, well, sorry, mate. Next, next. Yeah. And that was that. If you got the owners of the place to stay and say, oh, uh, I want you to, sometimes you came, you did a, you did a rehearsal and then you were booked four hours later for the evening show. 